special parallelograms have all the same properties of a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides congruent, opposite angles congruent. Everything that a parallelogram has, so do a rectangle, a square, and a rhombus. But they also have additional properties that make them into a rectangle, for example. <clears throat> and um, they're going to deal with diagonals. I'm pretty sure that everybody knows that in order to be a rectangle, you need to have four right angles or four congruent angles. But there's another property that comes from its diagonals. And if you have a parallelogram and the diagonals are congruent, it will be a rectangle. So we're going to skip over square and go over to a rhombus. A rhombus is like a diamond. It just has four congruent sides. That's its characteristic, its definition. But it also has some properties about its diagonals. Its diagonals are perpendicular. Since a parallelogram's diagonals bisect each other, if you add perpendicular to the mix, then they are perpendicular bisectors of each other. And they also are angle bisectors. They bisect the angles. So diagonals bisect the angles. So if any of these properties occurs you are, it is safe to say that the shape is a rhombus. You do not need to prove all three. And likewise, for the rectangle, you do not need to prove both properties. You only need to prove one of them in order to prove it's a, pair, it's a rectangle. So what is a square? You may see some similarities. We all know that a square has four congruent sides and that it does have four right angles. These two together will make a square. A square is both a rectangle and a rhombus, always, because of these two properties. In order to prove that you have a square, you have to be very careful. If there are four congruent sides, it's not enough to say that it's a square. In order to prove you have a square, you have to have something from the rhombus category and a characteristic from the rectangle category. So, since a square is both a rhombus and a rectangle, all the things that the diagonals do for those two shapes, they will work on a square. A square will have congruent diagonals. A square will have perpendicular diagonals. And in a square, the diagonals will bisect the angles. And so we're going to use all of these properties to find out some interesting things in class.